Hello students, in today's video we shall discuss example number 18, part 2 of chapter 2, polynomials. Evaluate each of the following using suitable identities. This one we already did in our last video. And the second one is 999 cubed. So this one we are going to solve now. 999 cubed can be written as 1000 minus 1 cube because this is closer to 1000 so 1000 minus 1 always try to find out a number with zeros so that would make our task easier we will use the identity of a minus b cubed which is a cubed minus b cubed minus 3ab a minus b here 1000 is a and 1 is b so 999 cubed equals to a cubed that's 1000 cubed minus b cubed 1 cubed minus 3 a b a minus b now this equals to 1000 cubed 1000 into 1000 into 1000 it's very easy to multiply count the number of zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 9 zeros and 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 1 is 1 so 1 and 9 zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that's a big number minus 1 cubed 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 minus 3 into 1000 into 1. 3 terms are multiplied. So that's 3000 and 1000 minus 1 is 999. Equals to this big number with 9 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Minus 1 minus. Now 999 into 3000. Forget about the zeros. Just multiply 999 into 3. 9 times 3, 27, 2 carry over, 27, 29, 2 carry over, 27, 29. So, 2, 9, 9, 7, 0, 0, 0, the 3 zeros. Now, these two are negative integers. So, we are just going to add it up with a minus sign. So, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Minus, when you add these two, this would be 2997001. We are adding these two because we got a minus sign before this. So we will add it up and put the minus sign. This we have learnt in integers. Now the difficult part is subtracting this number from such a big number with zeros. So let's do that. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The other number is 1, 0, 0, 7, 9, 9, 2. Always start writing from the right hand side. Then you will not go wrong. Minus. Now, 0 is smaller than all these numbers. So, we need to start borrowing from 1. If you borrow from 1, this becomes 0. This becomes 10. Now, borrow from 10. So, this would become 10 and this would become 9. So, this process goes on like that. So, what you can do is when you have zeros at the end, you can put a 10 and rest all you can go on cancelling and write 9. Because it's the same method that you're going to use. Whenever you have a big number with zeros, the last 0 would be 10 and rest all would be 9. Okay. Now 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 7, 2. 9 minus 9, 0. 9 minus 9, 0. 9 minus 2, 7. 9, here we don't have anything. So, we can assume 0. Comes down, comes down. So, this is our answer. And we are just going to copy this. Equals to 9970029999. Most of the students would find this difficult. But then if you know the rule how to do it, it is very easy. Like for example, if I will take a smaller number say 1000 
minus 21 okay so we got all three zeros here right so what we can do is we can make this 10 the last one 9 9 cancel out because this is 1 so 10 minus 1 9 9 minus 2 7 9 comes down so this is your answer so this is a very easy trick to do with comes with practice with this we complete example number 18 of chapter 2 polynomials see you in the next video